we woke up super early this morning. We had such a great night's sleep. Compared to yesterday, it was like a different a different world. <laughs> Would you say? Yep. Yeah. So um I think the temperature definitely made a difference. It was about 20, 25 degrees warmer and um, we did not freeze. It was um, all great except Wade had a headache and that's the only thing. Um, and the air mattress probably could have been blown up a little bit more from the night before. But we packed up while the sun was rising, actually before the sun rose, got some coffee and um, left our campsite. We're good. We are on the trace, taking in all the views. It's so beautiful and we've seen a bunch of deer already and we are headed to Nashville. So come on. <laughs> Nashville we just got off the trace one of the reasons that we wanted to come here was because we have never drove the trace all the way to Nashville so since we did the other end of the trace earlier this year we wanted to come here and since we were so close um, our campsite was about 70 miles from the to the end of the trace we packed up super early and came here there is a restaurant right off the end of the trace right in Nashville when you get here and it is the Loveless Cafe. So that is what we are doing for breakfast. We've got coffee, we've got biscuits, we've got all kinds of French toast and we're gonna eat here and it's really neat. It's an old motel and they've converted it into this cafe and it is like super cool. So we're gonna show you guys around. Okay, so not only does this place offer amazing food and have shops where you can buy things to go, it also has this gigantic, beautiful barn where they actually host events and weddings and things like that. And I'm almost certain that even celebrities like Reba McIntyre have performed here. So this is definitely a pretty kicking place. So one cool thing about this little restaurant is that they've converted the old motel rooms into shops. So you've like, got an event shop here, there's an, uh, another shop across the way that we'll go to, and then some ham and jelly shop, and then like a merchandise shop. So this is my first barbecue biscuit that I've ever had in my life. And uh, it's life changing, I will say. It's, it's really good, really good. Made right there behind you, huh? Mm-hmm. Maybe <laughs> he's like, ooh. He's not getting any of this. <laughs> no. Okay, so this is a fried green tomato and I don't know what kind of cheese this is. Fried green tomato and cheese on a biscuit. I've never had anything like this, but I know it's going to be amazing. It's so good. Oh, uh, it's like Rotel or something. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys what we have. We're gonna eat and then we'll tell you all about it. So we've got a chicken biscuit, the pulled pork biscuit, 
a fried green tomato and rotel, I guess, biscuit, a sausage biscuit, and some potatoes. We got a whole bunch of biscuits because we wanted to try more biscuits and they've got three different types of jams. I don't know what kind of jams those are. Then we have bacon and French toast. And the French toast smells so cinnamony and good. Oh, there's Samantha. And it looks like she's got a souvenir in her hand. T-shirt most likely. Let's find out. What'd you get? I got a shirt. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. They didn't give me a bag or a receipt, so I may have stole it. I'm just playing. <laughs> I didn't want either. Well, get in the car. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Okay. So when we left the Loveless Cafe, there was a gas station next door that Wade needed to fill up before we hit the trace. Um, they actually sell biscuits from the Loveless Cafe in there. And you can actually walk next door in case you may just want to like pick up some biscuits to go there instead of having a waiting line. And um, you can also check out all the shops at the same time. So I think it was really cool. Um, we had a really good time. The food was really good and just the whole place was really neat. I'm super excited that we got to stop there and I can't wait to get back. Maybe we'll eat inside next time, but if we don't, that means we have this guy and <laughs> that's a win-win situation for me. Um, we had such a blast camping this weekend. We hope you guys enjoyed following along. We are about to travel the Natchez Trace from Nashville to Tupelo for the very first time, stopping at all the stops and seeing all the sights and maybe even seeing wildlife. So we hope you guys um, follow along. And with that, we are gone. Bye. Say bye, baby. <laughs>